Okay, so what is once again up everybody on YouTube? This is Two Bros Gaming HD coming straight at you with yet again another video this Monday evening. I hope you guys are having a good day out there so far and I hope you make sure to actually watch my previously uploaded video from the Marvel Manor Farm which is brand new this weekend. And uh, you can go ahead and check it out in the previously uploaded ones, but whatever. We are gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the other mods that actually came out this weekend, and I think it is gonna be pretty cool. So of course, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also hit the thumbs up for this video. That would be really cool. So if you go down to mods, you can see right here, I am basically in the latest area or kind of like late the category latest on the mod hub we finally got the marvel main of Home and we finally got alps panorama grizzly mountain and new pearl saying that is like four new maps last week and it is like truly incredible that we finally got these maps we have been waiting for them for a long period of time so it's really cool to see that they are finally in here on Farmers Mid 2019. And I think definitely Marvel Mana Farm is one of the, the greatest looking maps that is on the, the 2019 game right here at the moment, like for real. So um, that's like really cool and definitely dope to see that we finally got these. But in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the Valtra S Series Cow Edition and the New Holland Big Belly Low 129D. Uh, so right here, this is an official mod from Giant Software. We got the whole collection from Valtra right here in the Cow Edition right now. I think it's okay. It's really cool to see that we got different kind of textures on it. This S Series is actually priced as 297,000 euros. It has a power output on 350 to 400. Uh, horses under the hood. The speed is 50 kilometers per hour on this. And the new Holland Big Baylor is once again a new official mod from Giant Software. The price on this is 155,000 euros. It has a max working speed on 20 kilometers per hour. The required power to pull this is 160 horses under the hood of the tractor. Which means that the car edition from S series is pretty uh, valuable to this. Uh, kind of like Baylor I think. So we got these down right here and we are gonna go ahead and take a look at it in the career mode. So let's get into this. This is the selection, deselect all and select all and then we should be able to get into the game like right away. So while the game is loading right here, it gives you plenty of time to go ahead and pull that trigger for the thumbs up on this video. And also you can basically click the red button under it to subscribe to Tubers Gaming HD and join the other 35,215 subscribers that is already a part of the membership right here on the channel. That would be really cool, of course. And we're only getting bigger like with daily uploads right here almost on the channel. I think we have a good guideline on where we are heading. Kai definitely want to hit those 100k like within a year or so but i don't know if it's gonna happen and i don't know if it is possible what we are gonna find out i guess so it is loading right here and it should be we should be able to get into it like right away and we are right now so right here this is basically just the normal standard map that we start out with in farm Simulator 2019 and this is of course the map that i'm gonna review stuff for you guys in as always i think the s series is located in big tractors or large tractors i guess i don't know but i guess yeah the s series is right here because it is actually the one of the biggest ones from Veltro. so that's like really cool to see but if you go to wheel setup you can check white tires white tires twin wheels i think we're gonna go for twin wheels on this beast right here uh, and uh, that's actually it. You can change the color on the rims like to black for example if you want to. Uh, if you have to go into the equipment we can go to the bailing technology because that is actually where we want to be. So bailing technology right here and we can take the new New Holland 1290 baler right here which is actually uh, a new mod to the game. But I mean like this baler was also available on the 2017 of Farming Simulator. So it feels like a little bit that uh, Giant Software have just kind of like, uh, forgotten to put those out. Uh, like put those out in the, in the what can you say, like um, in, the, in the release of the 2019 Farming Simulator. Because they actually wanted some new mods to be available throughout the game. So probably uh, it is... 
um, kind of like with all things indeed, they actually thought about this and they waited for it to be uh, released for a while into the game release right here. So uh, I'm thinking that we can actually have gotten these right here from the release of 2019 of Farm Simulator, but I think Giants actually just said to themselves, no, we need to have some new stuff that we can actually give our community players. So we should probably just leave these alone at the moment and actually release them later on so they actually get some new things in the game. And that's kind of my opinion on it and why I think it is like this. Uh, and I think it is pretty much true. Uh, I do actually think so. So it's cool to see that we actually finally got these, but uh, it, I, I think that it would be, or it would have been better if they actually came out a little bit earlier, but... Uh, Whatever, we got them now, and that's pretty cool uh, all in all. So the Valtra S-Series right here is a good-looking tractor indeed. I definitely had to say so, but I don't know what I have to say about the Cow Edition option right here because you cannot change the color from any other color from this. You need to have the Cow Edition color on the tractor. And when you kind of go like that, I think, okay... Should I really have like this cow edition thing or can you actually change it? No, you cannot change anything on this because you need to have this. And that's like where it comes into, okay, it sucks a little bit. Maybe I, I actually do believe so. So yeah, but with that said, I th still do believe it's cool to see that we got this new tractor in the game. If you go inside of this right here, it's basically just a standard uh, Valtra is serious. There's nothing like, okay, this is like really cool and this is plus a plus. And no, it is basically just a standard, like totally standard thing, uh, actually. And um, I still believe that it is pretty cool to see it uh, though, uh, because it is the biggest series from Valtra. So it's definitely a good thing that we have this in the game. And, uh, that is, of course, just my opinion, and you guys can always be free to go ahead and leave your opinions in the game too, or in the comment section on this video. You already, or you're always free to go ahead and do that. And I guess that you also might already know it, but um, if you didn't, you're definitely welcome to go ahead and do that. So I said that this could actually fit pretty good with the. Uh, with the Baylor, like the Valtra S series and the Baylor right here from New Holland, but I don't kind of know if if I'm right on this because maybe it's just a little bit bad. I, I don't know, but um, yeah, I, I think we can definitely go ahead and head for this, uh, but uh, still, it is something that we need to kind of like uh, think about when it comes to certain kind of things, and uh, that is like really as it is. But... I don't know if you guys would ever buy a Cow Edition Valtra series from, for your farm. Would you guys do that? Let me know in the comment section down under. I mean, it's maybe a little bit childish to see like this cow texture on a big working farm tractor. I don't know if it, it is just my opinion, of course, but uh, you can definitely kind of feel free to um, show your expressions on this right here. Oh, I got the I got the beacon lights on too, so that's like really cool. And I got the big twin wheels on, which is also looking quite cool. There's a beacon line on the 1290, like New Holland 1290 Baylor, so that's like really cool too, with all those kind of things. I I I have to say, so um, with all these certain kind of strange things that we have in the game at the moment, there is definitely a lot of. Uh, a lot of, uh, what can you say, changes and, and stuff like that to the game. And it is really cool to see. Indeed, I, I have to say so. So this is, of course, the cow edition right here from Valtra. Uh, the s series from Valtra, which is really cool. Uh, definitely a huge applause to Valtra for, for this. I don't know if it is a wearable in real life uh, cow edition thing. I, I really don't know, but it would be cool if it actually was. So yeah, I think basically I'm about to end this video. It was just a 
short showcase on what we actually got right here and i think it's pretty cool to see so i just want to say once again big thanks for coming through right here on the video as always make sure to hit the thumbs up on it to show your appreciation for new mods in the game and also hit the subscribe button if you're not yet a subscriber on tubers gaming hd you should definitely subscribe to the channel that would be really cool so thanks for watching and thanks for coming through join the movement join the support and uh hit the subscribe button that would be really lit we're gonna see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye guys bye